game against Iowa in the Western semifinal regional last year. 21 points and couldn't handle them. In low, just up and in, almost a mistake by Freeman. First score of the new season for the defending champs. Oliver, this was the guy that was the catalyst in the first half. There's a steal. Freeman. Hello. Maybe that'll give him a little wake-up call. The Husky mascot's going a little bananas left. Pretty good pick by Voskel on the inbounds. Morin didn't take the three, though. Delamine in traffic. Scoops. And Freeman follows. See Freeman with the offensive rebound. That means you're starting to play aggressive basketball. Because he is a great shooter, right. but also scared of the steal on the inbounds of the ball. And the three-pointer goes with a half second remaining. Dumps it off to Mooring. Tries to lose Carroll to Saunders, who has Horvath right in his face, dumped underneath. And again, UConn has to pull it out. Ten on the shot clock as Freeman launches and rattles it home. See, that's where Freeman is comfortable. Robertson running the point now. He's a combination guard. He's a very explosive player. Freeman into the paint. A little jump stop, and the jumper's good. Yeah, I mean, this is a game they play at the end of the, end of the year instead of at this point, so you know it's tough. Freeman, head to Saunders, back to Freeman. Here's oh, the break. Watch the trail man. Here's the trail man. Good communication. They communicate in transition. Freeman, I'm behind you. I'm behind you. Get me to rock. Here as well. Roscoe draws a double team, so he finds Robertson. Out to Freeman, whose shot is good. That's three. I tell you, Kevin Freeman really playing well tonight. Dumping it down for Freeman on the baseline. His jump shot is good, and that stroke's looking pretty good there. Freeman has it now. Oh, I love watching these two go head to head. Carroll and Freeman. Oh, what a strong move to the goal by Freeman. He has 13. UCLA. And both those teams started 0 for 1 the next year. So this is the first time that's happened as well. Freeman ahead of everyone. Nice catch. And Saunders. Left side. Mooring inside. Bosco. Mooring cuts for Freeman. Now well, the inside strength really showing itself there with Freeman. Long picks up where he left off. Three on one. Freeman for the finish and the foul. Five points for Boring, who gets a piece on that pass. Results in a UConn steal and oh my goodness. The alley oop from El Amin to Freeman. With quickness and he's got excellent leaping ability. Seven points for Carberry. Freeman with the fade. <laughs> Tempo here in the corner. Mooring lights it up from there. No. Saunders rebounds. Goes baseline. Tough shot. That was partially blocked. Freeman, the Warrior, inside. Count it. It's 0 and 10 to start the Is year. that amazing? What a finish. The There's a steal. Great Freeman. hands. Poster challenges. He goes up and scores. Freeman. Nice defense by Cox on that. So Amon Lon rebounds. One for 17, second half. Freeman, second time on a connection with Elamine. That's what Elamine wanted. That's why Jim had him back in the game. He'll probably get him out now. It's in the crowd on their feet until the Huskies make their first basket. Kevin Freeman now, small forward, gets the first bucket, and the crowd can take its seat. Now, 2 3 action by UNC Asheville. They're trying to force an outside shot. Let's see if Freeman can knock it down. He does. It's a three for Kevin Freeman. Nice finish for the big guy right there. Well, the Bulldogs have three players at least seven feet tall. That's not bad. It'd be one of the taller clubs in the Big South Conference. Freeman inside. Got hammered and counted. A go-to guy for the Bulldogs. Elamine, no. Voskel elevates over everybody. Gets a rebound. Cutters Freeman off the glass. You can count that. Back out to Elamine. Elamine. Freeman will fire from just inside the three-point line, and he hits it. Line drive. Over Saunders takes over. Mooring. Mooring. Alley-oop. Freeman's there. Slay won the national title that year on the Jimmy Harris. Here's Freeman down low. Nice reverse layup, so he's off to a good start. He did some American camp when I spoke here, and he was sensational. Here's Freeman. Inside. Strong move by Kevin Freeman. That's where he belongs. He is so much more effective when he is down in deep. A lot of patience by Connecticut. Freeman straight up with him. Got it. And it's 10 to UConn. Mooring to Bosco. Nice feed to Freeman.
so Jake Vosco is sounding like a broken record. Scrambling out of a 2-3, where they're looking to trap. Elamine with Harris on him. Shoots over him, no good. Rebound, Boring tips to Freeman. Elamine finds Freeman, puts it on the floor. Oh, pretty move. The right guy, it's a goal mine. So he actually delayed his flight plans home one day, went to take a look at Ford and said he fell in love with the campus as Kevin Freeman gets two more on the putback. Shot clock again at 10. Freeman, right side pull up. Nothing spin. His cousin is Art Still, the great defensive end years ago with the Kansas City Chiefs. And he must be a physical player. And Freeman finally gets on the board at the 15.09 marks. Rebounds at least both teams. Game high. Freeman trying to work hard inside the line. Drive gets it in. You know what that is? Freeman, the Warriors, said, guys in the perimeter. Doesn't let you rebound well, but gets a good shot. Each nice time. play oh. by Freeman. Tim O'Toole, that's exactly what he didn't want to see. Game surprise, too. Number three, Connecticut, up by just five, and their cross state neighbor, Fairfield. Pretty emphatically, I'd say. Let's see if they cash in. They do. <laughs> oh, yeah. Emphatic play from Kevin Freeman as well. Right there, Connecticut went after them man to man. A little mishap on the out of bounds play. Nobody home. 7 0 run in the last 90 seconds for Connecticut. Well, the last 90 seconds have been great, but the 90s have been great. Finals. Maury, a little pull up. Short. Bosco rebound. Takes it a little closer. Left hand too strong. Freeman ends up with it and one. Delamine. He's got Dang on the right. Instead, the trailer is Freeman. And Freeman with his first points of the night. That time by Houston. Botts is having a hard time keeping up with Elamine. Vosco faces the hoop, can't get it to go. Rebound, weak side, Freeman. Here's that strength of that inside. Leading scoring team in the country, already with 43 in the half. Juan, right side jumper in the lane, no good. And on the rebound, Freeman gets it back, makes the shot, and draws the Fox, and Elamine on the bench. Robertson, long three. I don't think that's the shot Jim Calhoun wanted, but Freeman with the offensive putback. Oh. An appropriate end to the first half. Kevin Freeman getting an offensive rebound, and Connecticut didn't miss a lot of shots in that first half. The shot. Rockets at home tonight against the LA Clippers at the compact. Nice pass. Good look to Freeman from Albie Mooring. Oh, Albert Mooring delivered a nice pass. And nice catch. Block. Oh, Knocked wow. out of there by Saunders. Here is Elamine. They've got a three on one. Elamine, alley oop, and Freeman at the other end. Check it out with that looping pass. What timing. Elamine has a knack for it. By Sacred Heart. This is Freeman. Kevin into the lane. Jump stop. A line drive, and he gets it to go. Four points for Freeman. He's strong, and he's got a nice touch. Oh, what a battle inside with Welch and Vosco. Freeman again inside. Bending, bending good. Freeman two in a row now. Down low to Vasco, back to Kevin Freeman. Well done on the give and go by the Huskies, and they extend their lead to seven again, 11 to four. Leading to Ralph Willard leaving. He's now at his alma mater. Holy Cross is the head coach. And Ben Howland's in for the first year. Good drive to the basket. Touch anything. Here comes LME. Lawrence Williams way off with the shot. And in transition, two more for UConn. Well, that one is off the mark by Williams. Look at that pass. Right on the money. There's the dunk. Get a T.O., baby. Get a T.O., Ricky B. Edwin Saunders. Demetrius Hunter goes for the steal. Can't get it. Here's Elamine with a jumper. In and out. Follow is good. Oh, is it good? Well, that's Freeman on the boards. And, you know, really playing focused. He was that way in practice today as well. They don't get back, and Freeman gets an easy two. Poor Grant. job. Poor job, John, by Connecticut getting back defensively. Bop again with the miss. Freeman fights it up and in. That's where he is so effective. If he can get on a glass, Illinois started 30 games. Alameen, that was blocked. I think Thomas got a piece of that, but the putback is good. Freeman right there again. He's off the bench. Edmund Saunders with it now. Looks to drive. Swings it back out to Freeman. Long range, buries it. That's a deuce. Okay. Saunders. To Mooring. Shot comes up short. Vosco tips it back. No good. Freeman again puts it back. Finished shot 57% from the field in the second half. 
into Voskel. Nice pass down to the baseline, and Freeman gets the jam. Friars is one and three on the road. And Saunders on the dribble drive gets by Murray. Freeman with the rebound, baseline, and the putback. Rodgers misses the shot. Here comes UConn Morey. He's got Freeman on the right for the finish. Excellent pass right there by Morey. Very unselfish. A little improvisation. Then back the other way. Freeman lays it up with the left hand. That is Ty Shine's fault. When Holloway penetrates into the lane like that, the opposite guard must get back the one. But look, long pass available. Seton Hall not there. Number zero, Ty Shine should have been back, and he wasn't. Kevin Freeman takes advantage. That was well done by Connecticut. Great counterattack. Argument going on who meant more at the school. And how about Moore, too, where you forget about him and a great defender. A little turn here. Wow. Well, Kevin Freeman, who much has been talked about with his offense, and <laughs> not now. Pretty dish. Well, I mean, Juan couldn't finish, but Freeman got the rebound. Oh, and gets a Kevin Freeman hoop. If you live out in the West Coast, the Midwest, and haven't seen Kevin Freeman play for four years, that play was Kevin Freeman. Decision there by Suleiman. Kevin Freeman wants it. Takes it in. Took his time. Won the putback. Freeman the garbage. Volleyball, too many blue shirts. Not a presence underneath. On Saturday, they play Michigan State. But a bigger one because it's a conference game today. Bosco the board and Freeman the drive. Wow, all the dirty work. Jake banging, caressing the ball and kicking it back out. It's having probably their best year in a long, long time. Freeman into the lane. And Kevin Freeman with his first bucket from Bridgeport, Connecticut. Good Great steal ball. by Mooring. That was some luck, though, by Cleese. Elamine, nice drop. Oh, well done. Unselfishly, he sets up Kevin Freeman. Elamine around the pick, picked up on the switch by Walls. The runner, no good. There's Freeman with the putback. So it's been a different Kevin Freeman tonight than the one that the Huskies have seen in, oh, say, the last two weeks or so. Of course I was ready to bank that. Saunders with the high post jumper, no good. Tipped up, dang, no good. Rebound, Freeman. Kevin Freeman has been quite active off the offensive glass tonight. Tried to hook it inside, but it was taken away. Dang's pass, run down by Freeman. What will we see here? Oh, 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 oh. The finish. And the foul. What a night it's been for Kevin Freeman, the 6'7 senior from nearby Springfield, Massachusetts. Rebound to the shortest man on the floor, 5'10", Khaled Elamine. Up to Freeman. Rising hard, and Freeman lays it in. Oh. The Huskies in transit. The speed of Notre Dame are lack thereof. That time they caught the Huskies napping. Good alert looking up the floor against pressure. Again, a shot from the outside. This time it's Freeman kept against Notre Dame. Huskies have the ball. Navigate hasn't missed, as you see. Five for five of the Huskies as they build an early 10-4 lead. I think the Irish was more effective keeping Connecticut on defense for a longer period. Back down inside, and again, as Edmund Saunders, and Murphy's tried five threes today, has hit none. Down by six. Maury can't get it to go. Rebound taken down. Outstanding play inside, and a Connecticut with a chance now converting a three-point play. First turnover of the game, the Notre Dame point guard. Down low, Freeman working. He gets it down. We're tied at 62 with 2.20 to play. The Huskies look to tie. Jump pass to Kevin Freeman. That's twice Dylan has overpassed inside. Freeman ties the game. Notre Dame's defense way out here is Freeman shooting a line drive and knocking it down with 13 seconds to play. A two-point basket. A two-point basket they're calling. His foot was on the line. Comfort station. Too deep. Vosco gets it. A little strong rebound put back by Freeman. And Calcanis can't get it. As you dig, quick hands go behind the back from Elamine. The morning to Saunders, and Saunders drops it home. But now Tommy Amaker needs a timeout. Elamine has had a tough time finding his way free. Freeman, fade away. Nice jump shot at the free throw line. Great block. They've gotten away with a double dribble there. I'll tell you what, he's playing nice. Oh, play. nice pass. Elamine down to Freeman. And all by dang. Oh, my goodness, what a great effort. He is shot. Oh, Dumps it down to Delaware. And I'm dang is there again. 
The law oh. for Freeman. Well, that's a little of the Husky mania. And Cullen doing a little chest bumping and piggyback ride. Did you say defense, John? Oh, yeah. Saunders will get it out of town. They've been on the road. They want to get back to stores with a smile on their face. Send it in. And what a beautiful little catchable release. Colin Elamine, one of the prettier assists you'll see. But all set up by the post presence defensively. Juan's defensive presence, Freeman runs, Robertson left, Kevin to the goal, tied in. With authority, too. Takes up his dribble in no man's land for no reason. Freeman, another three, two in the same game. Well, what did he say to both of us? It's in New York. Six down, eh, hey, get back. That's right, it's like Dean Smith in basketball, right? <laughs> Freeman, a third three. Well, Kevin Freeman had never in his college career hit one more than one three-pointer in a game. He's hit three in the first half here tonight. Are 0 of 14 in the field and have just two points. Freeman, though, has kept his team on the scoreboard as the ball goes opposite. Postel long and out. Freeman, wow, carrying the team. Kevin. Albert Morning struggling. And well, Freeman continues to hit from the outside. Now he'd love to play all the games here. It's into Vasco, who gets his second block of the evening. Here's a three on two to Freeman. And with that basket, Kevin Freeman becomes the 14th leading scorer in UConn history, moving ahead of Phil Gamble in February 2nd. Down low, Vasco feeds Freeman in the foul. Lyles threw it behind Armstead, who tries to save, but Robertson to Freeman. This ought to be interesting on Gorey. Crunch time of this game, Tony Robertson. On the rebound, Dan keeps it alive for Freeman! Vasco <laughs> the rebound. And the run out, something that they were concerned with. Kevin Bannon says you don't get back, you pay for it. He's pacing the sideline mm -hmm. in that particular play. Loring penetrates, hangs from 15. Another yeah. rebound for Freeman, a put back and a foul. Big time stats. Got a good one. Numbers. Melamine ahead to Freeman, right by Billet for the crown. Oh, to the tin with authority, and a nice play by Billet not to foul. Lost with Collin for it. The big guys stick together. No call. Pretty pass, too. Wow, Freeman with the finish, and a good non call, too. And that's why there's more pressure on this guy, Elamine, to make things happen at both ends. Dumps it inside. Freeman takes the baseline for the reverse layup. Short. Vasco the rebound. And Vasco the presence also forcing him off the floor. Here's Moore. Spin move. Couldn't get it to go. Freeman on the inside. Using that strong frame. In Kentucky with a victory over Florida. And a steal for Elamine. Freeman. Scoop to the hoop. Goes through. I was going to say Elamine may have given that ball up just a touch too soon. But freshman from Seattle has checked into the game. Making his first appearance since January 27th against Providence. Freeman connects. Not for only, two. Not 12 to shoot. Freeman controls it. Working off of Oscar's screen. Inside. They attack him on the interior. Freeman gets it back. Knocked away. And knocked to the outside. Maury. Shot clock down to one. Freeman beats the clock. Persistence on the offensive glass. Thomas had it right where he wanted defensively to swat it out. But it's been strong defensive effort by Syracuse. Freeman filling the lane. Left-handed lane point range. They double up on Robertson, trying to put some pressure on him. Shepard couldn't take it away from Freeman, and he lays it home. Well, we've seen twice with Kevin Freeman trying to make basketball plays. I mean, Boring from way outside, way off. Freeman, the rebound, gets his man in the air, lays it in, and he'll draw the foul as well. That is Kevin Freeman of basketball. How about the hesitation? He got to the rim, he thought he got banged. You kind of would have had an easy layer. Well, he just bodies his way in, and the follow is good. Uh, we'll give it to Freeman, although Saunders was there as well. And you make the tournament the only way to get back into the tournament, into the NCAA tournament. Freeman throws in the dunk. And where's Doug? He kind of keeping an eye out on him. You see he's got a little energy now. Nice. Freeman. Oh, he wasn't looking at the goal. And I bet you in the hearts of his Husky teammates, he's all world. The spin by Collard. Freeman. 
Bunte Bunte couldn't chase it. Freeman runs and finishes. Georgetown timeout. The Huskies' worst nightmare, dribble penetration. Freeman tries to get the quick hit. And that is old-style UConn basketball. They and Ajo Dang on the rebound. The Huskies leak out. El Amin Freeman. And just when you think the Huskies are getting close, St. John's makes a defensive play. They get a good play on offense, and they push the lead back out to nine. Freeman really wanted to take that shot. Postel wanted the travel call. Freeman the forwards. Robertson and Mooring the guards. 5-2 shoot. Kevin took a tough two. Well, he has been on the floor. Kevin Freeman averaging nearly 11 a game, makes six minutes to go in the half. And also, when you put a Saunders, bigger... Saunders, and that's behind ball. the back to Freeman. Boom! The defense of UConn has dictated their offense. They've capitalized on the turnovers. 31 to 16, UConn. Saunders playing a terrific first half at both ends of the court. Freeman with a slam, and UConn by 15. Five and a half to go. Clock down to six. Robertson makes the move. <laughs> Athletic in the follow by Kevin Freeman. The ball now kind of limping with the move, but nevertheless running the show <laughs> and trying to hit. Sets up Kevin Freeman's follow basket. Another offensive rebound for Connecticut. Vasco double teamed in that zone, and he finds the open man, Kevin Freeman. It's tied at two. High percentage shot. Kevin Freeman maneuvering for the 10 footer. And it's 16 12 on Freeman's fourth point. This will be the last run for Connecticut. I do believe they must get Freeman and Warren involved. Get the ball inside. There he is. Strong player, unstoppable almost. Yes, up with a jump hook and the left hand. The off hand for Freeman, his sixth point. Kind of pulling away until Jerry Green took Harris out. That's a one hand the ball. Walker in particular. Coming up against North Carolina, they will be challenged. I thought that was a terrific effort by the Tar Heels today. Freeman hits from outside. Inevitably quick. Which I'm starting to wonder how it's going to be. Now, Kevin Robinson. Freeman, excuse me, James Worthy, uh, walking off the court, his final game for Connecticut, played in more games than anyone in the history of the school and stores Connecticut, and the fans who know that behind us give him a standing ovation. That's absolutely nothing to be ashamed of. Had a great career, walked away with a national championship last year.